I think we're live. We're probably live. I think we're live. Let me get my chat box out. Whew. I hope you all had an amazing day. I don't even know what day it is. Is today Friday? Is that what today is? Yeah. You're I hope you had a brilliant Friday. I have had probably one of the busiest weeks since. Do you hear that? Yeah, what is it? The computer? Is something trying to come out of there like a disc or something? Um, no. There isn't even a disc drive in it. Maybe it's getting hot. I'll just do that. Hey, JJ. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I don't think there's a CD player in it. No idea. I'm at a loss. Anyways. Jerry with the color shack. It's Saturday here. Of course it's Saturday there. It's Friday here. I'm pretty sure. Last I checked, it's Friday anyways. I digress. So you know the other day when Jeff did that awesome, amazing, like he stained a white piece with alcohol ink? I'm going to try to recreate that style and see if we can make it a thing. Hashtag ATD fam trends. So um, hopefully I don't mess it up and it can be a viable technique to change something that you made into something even more brilliant by adding alcohol ink colors because y'all know those inks are super vibrant and immersing. With that said, cue the strip of music. I lifted the, um, the laptop up a little bit hoping that it's just getting really warm. Yo no se, B. Yo no se. So, you ain't gonna mess it up. Um, don't put that much um, faith in me because I take that as an amazing challenge that I feel in my soul that I can achieve. Judy! Hope you had an amazing day, Judy. Doris, Sue, Lisa, Daphne. Sippy, sippy, y'all. Kate. So the other day, I did this piece with Quick Coat with the entire intention behind it to do um, this alcohol ink staining over it. Um, if it were a piece that I was going to leave as a black and white. I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe it just needs to be restarted. Or I restarted it. Oh. It did it once earlier today and I was like, that's not normal. And I restarted it. I shut it down. There's no updates. And so I restarted it. Maybe Google what that sound means. It's going to blow. It might. I hope not. I think we got a warranty. on. I don't know. <sighs> Sounds like the hard drive. Yeah. Somebody say that? Yeah. Google what it means when the hard drive makes a buzzing sound. There are kinds of people. I don't know. So, um, what's up, everybody? Hi, how are you doing? How's your mom? How's your dad? How's your Jeff kids? says, "Hey, hi, 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 hi." Hey, mom and Ann. It could be the fan. That's what I was thinking. So that's why I like I I lifted it a little bit so it, more air can get to it. I don't know. As long as it doesn't explode or shut down midstream, I can figure it out later. We can take it to Geek Squad Minyana. So, um, what I was saying a second ago was if I were going to leave it a black and white monochrome like this, which I really like just by itself, same Lisa, 
Um, I wouldn't have done it with quick coat because it's going to turn yellow 100%. doesn't have any UV blockers in it, so instead of being a black and white piece, it would be a black and cigarette smoker teeth color. Hey, Java. Hey, Shai. All of the y'all, Cherie. Um, so I'm trying to remember what Jeff did when he ended up liking his piece. And I asked him about it, and we deduced that he just put a whole bunch of alcohol on it and then added color and swished it around. I almost feel like the computer's talking back. How loud is it with y'all? Not you, y'all. So, I know that the reason why it didn't take long for him to have put that much alcohol down and it it set up pretty fast because he was putting alcohol inks down and manipulating it with a heat gun for a while so the base was already warm which made the um, ink set up rather quickly so I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to just do it. So this is 91% alcohol. I'm just adding in a couple spots, and I'm just picking random colors. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Dorian. I'm sorry y'all can hear that. I have no idea what it is, but I will have Geek Squad check it out tomorrow. y'all that doesn't look like sunshine yellow I think I'm going to add some gold to it too we'll see buy two get one at Michael's that's awesome No one has Googled it yet. Can you, you're on the Google machine. Can you just... So I'm going to use my heat gun, but I'm going to turn it down to almost no heat. Just for a little while, just to get the colors spread to where I want them. Well said on Facebook today, Don. What did you say? Hey, Carrie. Linda, I'm excited you're here too. How have you been? Hey, Sharon. Thanks for tuning in and commenting. So because this is 91%, it's going to evaporate rather quickly because it's a high concentration of alcohol and no extras, which would be, I guess, water. I don't know the science. Confession. But that's what I believe goes on in my brain, which is probably a scary place.
So for this, I didn't really, um, I didn't sand it at all because I didn't want that gritty texture. And I think, I'm pretty sure that when you do alcohol inks, you want as smooth as possible of a surface. So that's what's happening. Um, we've done tattoo inks before, right, V? I don't know how you did yours, but it is not looking like how you did yours. I'm driving the struggle bus in front of the fam right now. I think it works better when you do that, like, drench and tilt. Lisa, I'm pretty sure someone out there has done it, but... I think what you have to do, now that I think about it, put, put the alcohol down, tilt it, then put your color, and then another color, and then another color, like, make it to where it's not going to blend. No clue. I'm getting really concerned about this um, noise. Hey, Sherry. I think so, Sherry. I think if I do let it dry on its own, it would get smoother transition lines for sure. I'm just trying to get the colors where I want them at this point. Because I think the pink has taken over slightly. By slightly, I mean completely. So. I think this is going to be a really interesting technique for people to try. Because how easy is it to work with just black and white? Like, it took no time to do the, the base painting on this piece. And that's, like, fact because I was using... Um, uh, what? Quick Coat. I was using Quick Coat, so... Like... You have no time. So now I'm just rocking this color back and forth, trying to get some smooth blends. Kind of digging this like orangey fire color that that one made. I have no idea how to run a diagnostic check, but I'll I'll figure it. I'll Google it. Get it done. Apparently I did not mix up my colors well enough because I'm getting just a little, couple little dimples in there. It, it actually doesn't look that bad. Come see. 
Come here. Sippy, sippy. Come see, come see. Oh. Debating on if I want to add more of this like glowy orange or if it's too abrasive. I'll just add more color. And if you put like a light blue in there like that, it would look like just. Linda, you should totally video doing your first countertop. She, like um, sheer like ice. Got an ice. Big old, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? Uh, glaciers. This one is this one. Uh, new blue. It's a Copic refill M number BG02. I think this would look great as a computer desk. Thank you, Jerry. So I definitely think that this is going to be a viable technique that I want everybody to try and like tag ATD in it because I want to see what you guys create. I think it's important to try other people's techniques and develop your own and experiment and try something new. Don't ever be scared to do something outside of your comfort zone because that's when you discover like that right there, I love that. And I don't know, I, it's, it, I'm probably not gonna keep it because it's distracting to the flow of the piece, but I definitely think um, people need to try other things. I was reading a comment on Facebook today. Someone was upset because someone had done a piece that looks similar to theirs and posted it and oh, I, I, commented on all, I know I saw your comment I was just like don't get upset it's flattery you can't get upset especially if you're on if it was a specific art piece you might yes, have Sherry. concern but other than that copy is the greatest form of flattery to an artist thanks Larry I just, you can't get worked up over things like that. You know how many people copied my lip pieces and unless it's, they steal my exact artwork and claim it as their own, live and let live. If someone copies it, I'm all for it because I think that helps people to develop their own style and I'm. 100% an advocate of trying new things to develop your own style and if you need to use my my style to develop your own go for it so what I'm going to end up doing with this piece is I'm going to let it live once I've got it the colors where I want it and then I'll clear coat it with um, stone coats art coat because that has the best UV blocker and then it'll be forever like this I would draw on it if you didn't do what you do I would still be googling everything and producing nothing oh thank you Mandy how much for this one um probably 175 thank you Larry you're awesome shy that's right Mandy um, I did send your donation direct to shy's GoFundMe and I put your name in the um, description box for your donation Okay, Miranda, I will definitely check out your Instagram. Angie, thank you. You don't really have to have um, a particular style to be an artist, but a lot of artists want to develop their own style, and without 
first trying what other artists do, you'll really never develop your own anything. So when artists get all worked up because someone used the same color palette or the same technique, I'm just like, let it go. People get too worked up nowadays, I think, over the silly things. So this painting is a 12 by 36, I believe. And it's really nice. I really like the movement that we put into it with um, the quick coat initial painting. Look, it's drying on that edge. And it gives an even more interesting texture. I'm not wearing my Ethereum. How fun is that little bubble situation? Now I'm gonna have to research and find out what that's from. I'm sure Jen will pop on later and tell me, but as it's drying, it's giving that texture in certain areas. And it looks really interesting and I don't know what that's from. Can you guys see that? Let me, let me move. All right, watch. It's just moving and drying inward on in some areas, making this awesome, like, bubble pattern. No idea what is causing it. I'll have to do another piece to test it and see what that's from. Hey, Theresa. Thank you, Mandy. I agree, Joe. The colors do work well. Um, this is a 12 by 36, I believe. Maybe an 18 by 36. It could be a reaction to the quick coat, but I really love what it's doing. And it's growing over the whole piece. When I first showed you guys, it wasn't in this middle section. And now it, it is. Like it's moving in in front of my own eyes, like right now. Thank you, Shy. Agreed, Judy. I'm not sure what the texture would do with a resin pour on top of it, but we're going to test it. Um, I'm going to let it fully dry overnight and tomorrow. Look, those two are about to, it's going to start meeting right here in the middle. Weird. Um, I'm going to see how it does overnight and then tomorrow I will... Um, I'll put a resin coat on it and see what it does. That texture is like over almost the whole piece at this point. Maybe it is because I didn't use any heat. Do you hear the boys? They're arguing right now. Bye, Angel Heart. You guys undercharge for your work. So if I'm selling to fam on the channel, I price very differently from when I um, post in galleries or in our online shop because I give you guys the same family discount I would um, give my family, right? It does kind of look like fish scales, doesn't it? Sharon, that absolutely could be it but it's it's like it's still moving B come here yeah. meow yeah. thanks look at this pattern it's doing no idea why yeah. um it's smooth it's still like flush See, I can't torch it and see what happens because I'm inside. Whoa. 
right? It's I don't know weird. why this has a heartbeat. Hold on, y'all. Maybe because it's standing still? Because it's standing still? Maybe. Because our computer is acting up? I don't, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that... It's weird. Because <laughs> you're, you're playing with fire. You've got two ferrets, one of which is not yours. He's there trying we go. to get both of them. He's going to get his little shoo shoo bitten. Bring it. Let's see it. Show it to me. Bring it. Will you pe put heat on it to pop the bubbles? It. Um, it is alcohol ink on top of a white on black resin pour that I did with Quick Coat. So, probably tomorrow, I'm going to clear coat this and I'm going to see. I'll do a side by side. I'll do a black and white with quick coat and a black and white with art coat and see if it does anything different. I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of heat and see what happens. Okay, so in the areas where there were those driplets, but they weren't like dry yet. Okay, oops, okay. So, in the areas where there were driplets like in here and they weren't dry yet, when I hit them with heat, it all evaporated quickly and didn't leave those rings. So think of this as if I spritzed some alcohol and just let it set. It dispersed the color and gave it those rings. Where there are bigger rings is probably where there were like the alcohol drops were larger. And so that has to be what's going on. And I am 100% here for it. Oh my goodness, you guys. So where I put the gold and it came into the edge right here, there are now little gold scales as opposed to the colors. It's e-science, Linda. It's 100% e-science. I'm so into this piece. Bowie on the move. I would so along with my next piece I will do um, a test to see if it still happens with a blending solution which I did not use any of I have some here handy but I didn't use it um, I was just gonna do it if I needed to but didn't so it is a happy accident and the great thing about happy accidents is when you can reverse engineer what you did and reproduce it and obviously when you're working with mediums like this it's hard to reproduce anything but y'all so because I put some gold in it it's got some like shine in some areas and not in others let's see if you can see the little Okay, I'm just going to do a true color video. It just looks dirty right there, but how fun is that? Y'all, I'm sold on, like, it's been a while since I was amazed by my own artwork. <laughs> and I don't want to sound like I'm like, oh my God, I'm the best person ever, but digging it so hard right now. Somebody just said you guys are so I am humble, but if I'm impressed by something, whether it's mine or someone else's, I'm going to say something. <gasps> Look, y'all, it did it on here, too. 
Come here, Lucy. Come here, come here, come here. Like, on here, it's done the little driplets. So, it, it's not the quick coat. doesn't go all the way through. Let me, you want me to ink it? I think it'll go in the little hey, spots though. I'm just wondering about resining it. You could ink it if you want. All right, Mandy. So it's, um, Dawn's here. So it's not that I use quick coat over a different resin. When Jeff did his piece, he did use we you hand me your piece? Um, thanks for coming, Colleen. So, when Jeff did this one, it was the same style, the same way, but he fiddled with it a little bit more. So faddle. It was a little bit hotter. So... That one was with um, the black and white piece being art coat. But I don't think it matters because it's doing the dots on my paper. So I don't think that matters. Oh, thanks, Lisa. So I don't think it matters. Thanks, Ocean. But this is going to be the new hit in resin. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So it's going to be the new jam. Because I haven't seen that before. Have you? No. And also, this looks beautiful. It looks. Do you think Bowie's into something he shouldn't be in? So. Jeff was um, at Makerspace today cutting more coasters and he etched into this one about halfway. I'm gonna ink it to see if it does something fun. Love it when you guys art battle. What a result. Sometimes it works out and other times we get into a real heated for real, for real battle. Well, you need to be sweet. Hi, Rebecca. It's not raining here at all. It is actually really dry and awesome today. It's been a beautiful day. And it is 91% alcohol, which is the same percent that Jeff used on his. Yeah, I don't think I can get anything higher than 91 alcohol here either. Somewhere in Australia, they had 100%, or like 99. I was like, how is, is that legal? I don't know why it wouldn't be. <gasps> okay. Give up. 
Bowie, what are you playing with? Can we make sure he's not eating something he shouldn't be? See ya, Andy. E-sorcery, I accept. <laughs> Did you mix anything? No. Wow. That's fun. Put some splotches in it of a different color. Like do a do just a teeny bit of like blending and then some like You want me yellow. to use blending and yellow? Okay. Yeah. Oh, Judy uses 99. What is up with all the the dots? Spots, yeah. I don't know. But that someone was like, it's maybe weird. it's because you used um, Quick Coat. And I said, it could be. But then I realized that the splotches were here too. Oh, look at it. It stays in one place. <gasps> Are we about to invent stained glass alcoholing style? Oh, murdered. But I took the backing off already, so. I think it would go under anyways if it was alcohol. No. You just have to like be very careful with it. Do do green do that teal. Whatever that is, you're not supposed to be in that. He's sitting right there. Do it in this one? Yeah. I don't even think you need to put that much in there. Oh, yeah, you have you can't do that. It's staying in the lines. It went over the yellow, though. That's under. Oh. I just should have used more better inking. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. We just invented stained glass alcohol ink. We cut them. You don't even have to. You don't even have to. Anyways, so maybe we'll start doing like stained glass because it's got that like. Oh, sorry. So it's got that like deep outline because of where he etched. I'm so interested now in this. What else is happening next month? We're going to do shirts, hats, bags, etc. Papa and Martha, everybody makes money in Martha. Coasters. What? Ask her what day and time and things. Huh? The week before our road trip. So it might be good. Yeah. All right, y'all. I will check on them, Carol, for sure, for sure. So, tomorrow, I hope I see you guys here because I'm going to do this experiment again. Exactly, Ocean, that's what I'm thinking. Because, so, because we joined Makerspace, we have access to a laser cutter, and so I can take any design. That was just and circles. Yeah, he just overlapped these circles by accident. So I can take any design and etch it just lightly into this acrylic. And then people who alcohol ink can make whatever. You know? My son says the sound is your fan. I'm just going to take it to Geek Squad. Thank you, Colleen. Tell your son I said thank you. So... Um, tomorrow I'm going to do, I thought I was going to do a test of, al nope, quick coat versus art coat and how it reacts, but I think now I'm going to instead change it to testing just alcohol and using a blending solution on top of quick coat and seeing if um, we get these dot textures because they're kind of bomb.com. And if I can figure out how to 
hone in the style. I'm super excited about it. Look at this. Let me, okay. Come here, Lucy. Let's talk about this. Like, that's super fun and 100% an accident. Like, what we can do is just put the, put the, uh, put the laser on, like, fast. Do a bunch of circles and then move them. Do a bunch, do, just do the same pattern, mm -hmm. the same file. Just move it back and forth and they'll just overlap each other and it'll get just random patterns. So this is fresh off of our roll of butcher paper. There's nothing on it, no resin, no residue from anything. It's a fresh sheet and it's still doing this awesome like dotted line situation. Why couldn't that be on my piece? Do y'all see that? It's not a skin shy, it's just on paper. It's not like it's not on anything. Seal that on a wood panel and resin over it. Right, Kate? That's not a bad it's not a bad idea. I will save this piece of paper for any future anythings. But it's super I don't know, I don't know. But we're gonna figure it out together as a family and recreate it. Cause that's what we do here, right? Right. Okay. I wanna do it right now, but can't. Jeff and I haven't really eaten today, so we're gonna go to Din Din. Or we're gonna call in dinner because Jeff is having a serious cuddle sesh with Bowie beans. Well, Judy, I used Copic, Zig, and um, Ranger. Like I used all, 100% all different inks. So I don't know. Yo no sé, got an, I got nothing. but. We're gonna revisit this experiment tomorrow and see what we can narrow down. Um, the feed will be. Um, be what? Are we going on early tomorrow? What's going on tomorrow? Since it's Memorial. I'll post an ATDs, poor people, check it out over here, um, what time we're going to go live tomorrow. I think it'll be regular time, but it's Memorial Weekend, so coin toss on what actually goes on. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, seeing what we're up to. I love you guys so, so much. Please be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Right? Right. So bye. I said bye. Friday night live.